I must say it's a very fun crowd. We were sitting backstage and um, I was hearing some hoots and whistles. So good, good. I, I always love it when it's a fun crowd. How do you define beauty and personal care in your own words? Um, you know, I feel like the word beauty has been used and abused sometimes. You know, sometimes people think beauty means a lot of makeup. Sometimes people think beauty is a great physique, six abs for the boys or whatever. What? Six pack for the uh, boys and, you know, the perfect figure for the women. Uh, for me, beauty is when you feel good about yourself. Honestly, everybody's made differently. Sometimes your hair can look good. It can put you in a good mood. Sometimes you're wearing an amazing outfit. It can make you feel good. Sometimes the weather is so good. It can make you feel good. To me, beauty or when I feel beautiful is when I feel comfortable and happy. And then I don't really care about how I'm actually looking. Does that make sense? You know, I could be really happy in my chappals and sweatshirt. And I think I'm looking fab. Um, and sometimes I could feel like wearing like a sari with jhumkas and full on makeup and I think that's beauty too. So I think beauty is about how you feel and not how you look. That's actually quite insightful. So it's more internal rather than necessarily I external. mean, yeah, and I know that everybody says it's internal, but like so many people can't be wrong. I really genuinely feel beauty is, is definitely internal. Perfect. Uh, so what is your beauty regime? Uh, how, how often do you change that? Some of you have laughed because you know I'm going to be exposed now. Um, the truth is I have no beauty regime, guys. Um, I'm honestly one of those people who literally washes their face, puts on a moisturizer, lip balm, and I'm out of the house. And I don't have any nighttime 87 step skincare routine. If you come to my bathroom, you will see an empty counter, only my face wash and moisturizer, I swear to God. And this is something I've learned from my dad and my dadi and my mom. Uh, none of us own like 35 different products. If you need it for your skin, if you need it for medical reasons, if you like using it, if you like how it smells, you must buy the products that you love. For me personally, simpler the better, the more minimal it is. Uh, the better it is. And I've just felt like the more I let my skin breathe and my hair just be, the better it somehow turns uh, out looking the next day. So, lesser the better is my regime. Also, I'm lazy. <laughs> I think a part of my next question you have already addressed, but um, maybe... This happens a lot. I over answer questions and then usually people keep checking their questions. They're like, oh, sare answers isi mein de de. Isi mein aage hai. Haan, correct. So, Ye hota hai. Now, since you have already, now you know what you want to buy or <laughs> yeah. what you want to do that. Yeah. What is the most important thing to think about while, while say, buying a beauty product? A part of that you already answered, but if you can just explore a bit more that. Um, honestly, like everything else in the world, one size doesn't fit all. So, do not listen to somebody and use, start using things on yourself. 99% it will not work. You need to do a trial and test and unfortunately that may be a long process for some because some people have sensitive skin, some people have sensitive hair, some people have brittle nails. Whatever is the beauty regime that you're trying to adopt, please do it on your own. A trial of your own is absolutely necessary. Don't blindly do what others are doing. Um, take advice from skin experts, take advice from uh, websites, read about it, etc. But do trials with small quantities. And then you will know what works for you. That's what I feel. That's perfect. Yeah. Um, in general, what we have seen is that uh, for the last few years, uh, online has become extremely important for Indian consumers as well oh, as yeah. uh, outside. And beauty and personal care have become more so. Yeah. Have you bought online uh, or when you buy online? Essentially, what do you think about or, or what would you essentially suggest what to look at online which makes sure that you do address whatever you have been speaking about till now? I exclusively shop online actually now. I can't focus in a store anymore. I, I, I mean it. When I'm traveling abroad, I feel like today I'm going to go to the mall and today is the day of shopping. And I go to all these stores and I come out with nothing because I just feel like the, the, the variety and the ease that online shopping brings, honestly, on the floor, I just don't feel the same. And this is the truth, genuine truth. I mean, you know that online scrolling that you do on social media, etc. at night, I do it online shopping, putting in carts, sending to my stylists, 
be like ye bhi ye bhi ye bhi ye bhi you know that's that's me at night guys so i i just feel like the the convenience is very big today today people want to save time people are busy they want access they want variety they want convenience and that cannot come from going to the floor anymore uh, at least for me and i and i know i speak for most people that i know it's the same so i bought i literally buy even my toothpaste online now like i buy everything online it it comes into your hand into your house what else do you want that's absolutely the yeah you have to walk like two steps you don't want to walk two steps as well not that also <laughs> <laughs> yeah perfect good say i think one of the things that we see also online is you get a wide variety of products right yeah. it is you keep on scrolling you'll get keep yeah, on seeing yeah, new items yeah 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 uh when you understand your personal skin care needs how do you how do you essentially figure out what product is right for me what to look at what exactly is the way that you you believe uh, you know say think about those products i think reviews i think people online are pretty brutal you know if they don't like something they will write and make sure they write like five times about it saying do not buy this i think reviews can be trusted to a great extent so for me real people talking about the stuff that they've bought you know a face wash or a lip balm or a shampoo whatever i think people really go out there make the effort and write things um to help or maybe just to vent i don't know but it helps you can like i think you can sift through a lot of stuff that's I'll what i think i'll ask you a very personal question please go for it more uh, more essentially to me see i have a dry skin huh. okay when i go and shop online one of the aspects that i see is that a lot of people who may be reviewing items may not have the same level of dryness as me correct okay how do i address that i mean when you look at product is there a way to figure out you know this is my skin tone this is my so how do you essentially figure out what is the right product for you sir jab tak kuch taste nahi karoge kuch smell nahi karoge how will you ever know that's what i started with you never judge a book by its cover unfortunately that is the one weakness that we face in online shopping the only way to do is now there's so much of flexibility that websites offer you you can buy you can return you can exchange um you can try there are small quantities it's not like you have to buy a 100 ml bottle for everything so you must try 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 every person is unique and nothing is going to work for everybody so to me honestly um when you have dry skin i may have dry skin the other person may have very dry skin the three of us will never ever work with the same product so unfortunately for me personally if you ask it has to be a trial and error nothing else understood um and i think one of the aspects that that actually technology does well is to get you that particular information absolutely right so in the in the subsequent sections you will also hear about a product that we have built that that actually addresses that specific part yeah all right so first so again thank you very much uh, thank i know you. i have a lot more more questions than this <laughs> and i'm sure people here also have a lot of uh, you know questions but first of all thanks a lot for really coming no, and thank you for so being much. so insightful here thank you so much it was lovely meeting you guys i will now go and do some actual shopping uh, i will go and do some window shopping but thank you so much guys have a great time shop a lot you're in good hands so your dry skin don't worry flipkart hai na all right we officially announce the glamour fest is now live chello mara ja mam look here pari mam left your right side mam pari ji yahan par dekhiye mam thoda center pari ji mere paas hai chal ke pari ji look here mam look here pari mam thank you 